GTV analog for your PC downgrading now. Look, there's a retard. Let's see if she's got a nickel. I want to buy a Coke. Hey, retard, you got a nickel? No. How about I trade you your cat for a nickel? Give him back. Don't hurt Mr. Wiggles. Bastard bit me. <laughs> Be cool. It's my dad. You keep your mouth shut. Right. Johnny Bowman, what the hell are you doing to that poor girl? Nothing. She just fell down and me and Billy was just helping her up. Yeah, right. Get your ass in the car, boy. You too, Billy Townsend, or you want us to call your daddy. No, sir, Sheriff Bowman. Can I help you? Yes. I have an appointment to see Sheriff Bowman. Miss Peterson? He's on the phone at the moment. Do you mind waiting? No, not at all. You moved into the old house on the hill, am I correct? Yes, you are. I'm sorry, but I can't understand why anyone would buy that old house. Well, I didn't actually buy it. My grandfather left it to me, and you should really see it now. It's beautifully renovated. Mark Townsend did the work. Oh yes, Mark did the work on the old church. Your grandfather must have thought very highly of you. Well, he didn't have much of a choice. You see, my father was killed in the Gulf War when I was four, and my mother never quite got over it, and she committed suicide. So my grandparents raised me. I'm actually the only living relative. Well, there's Adrian, of course. Yes, Adrian. Now that's a sad story. What will cause a 12-year-old girl to murder her parents? But surely you have some other relative somewhere. Before my grandmother passed, she researched our family history and traced it all the way back to a William Peterson, he lived in this area some 750 years ago, but that's as far as she got. Well, you better get busy and start having babies then. <laughs> I'm in no hurry for that. He's off the phone now. Sheriff, Miss Peterson's here to see you. Send her on in. John, I'm here to take a look at those transcripts from the dead time murders. Oh, right, right. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I totally spaced it. Me? Oh, <laughs> you've already gotten for me. I swear, if his wife didn't put his pants out for him, he'd show up here in his underwear. Now, B, that only happened that one time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ted, what can I get you, sweetheart? One large cup of Joe to go. How about a slice of peach pie? Ooh, that sounds good, but I ain't got time. I got two tune-ups and a power steering pump waiting. If you don't take it, I'm gonna have to throw it away. I can make it to go. Well, I can't let you throw away a perfectly good piece of peach pie now, can I? Wrap that puppy up and I'll take it too. Friends ain't dancing. I saw you pull that pie out of the oven with my own two eyes not 15 minutes ago. I will 
of the same blood, Adrian. You brought me back from the gates of hell. How can I repay you? You know, I'm barely talented and push me down. I can't find Mr. Wiggle. A simple task of a simple mind. Consider it done. Welcome back, Adrian. We thought we lost you. Well, you look busy. Did I show up too early? Actually, you're right on time. Still waiting on the cart for this one. Go ahead and pull her in and I'll get her going. Sure thing. Are you going to be at the carnival this weekend? No, I doubt I'll be doing that. What? You don't like carnivals? Nah, it ain't like that. I just don't want to go alone. Why would you have to go alone? When there's a beautiful, available young lady right across the street. Francine? Hell, I asked her out back in high school, and she turned me down flat. Don't you think it's about time you tried again, big fella? I suppose it could. Do you think she'd say yes? Well, there's only one way to find out. What's that? Francine's peach pie. Ooh, that looks good. Sorry about your luck. She gave me the last piece. Oh, what the hell. It just ended up on my ass anyway. How long do you think it'll take? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you come back in about 20? Hey, girl, what's up? Nothing much. Just dropped my car off at Ted's. Tune up or power steering, Pop? Tune up. Good, because those power steering units are a bitch. At least that's what Ted says. So, what you gonna have? Just a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar, please. How about a slice of peach pie? Just made it. Oh, really? Because Ted says he just ate the last piece. Well, Ted don't have to know everything now, does he? Would it be okay if I put this in your window? Sure, what's it about? Dog run dog. Very cute. What's his name? Jake. Dad says we need to get him fixed, but he ain't broke. He just likes to run. <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing up there? Building a playhouse? We're just finishing up now, boss. What's that, a book? Nah, it's a diary or some shit like that. Real old, too. Found it underneath the old insulation. Well, give it to me and I'll make sure Joan gets it. Since you mentioned Joan, when are you going to ask her out? As soon as we finish this job, and that could be tonight if you guys get your thumbs out of your asses. Hey guys, it's going to ask her out tonight. That means I win the pool. Ha ha, bitches! You do realize, Doctor, that every time we back her off of her meds, she tries to kill something? Jesus Christ, she hacked her own parents up with a meat cleaver. Well, frankly, Doctor, I could give a rat's ass what you think. I'm telling you, right here and right now, if it happens again, do not resuscitate. You got it? Good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.